What's happening everybody? Welcome back to the Juicy Vapor channel. I'm Chef Andy, your guy for DIY and so much more. Listen, today we're going to do a review. Uh, another one by Vapeco. This one's number 24 in the beard lineup. Salted caramel, salted caramel malt. Uh, it's a 70-30 VG to PG blend uh, with 3 milligram by volume nicotine. Yes, um, um, I, I, I must confess that I'm really looking uh, to taste this one because as a kid, I loved salted caramel. It was like one of my favorites. Um, so I'm looking to, to really enjoy this one uh, and see if it takes me back home to when I was a kid. The smell is lovely. I mean, really nice. That's making me smile. That's turning my frown upside down, baby. Yes! Yeah, it smells really good. Um, we're going to be putting it in. Uh, I've been cleaning my tanks and putting some new coils and wicks in. I'm going to be using the Arctic tank with a .2 uh, coil on there. Uh, so that should give some pretty good... Uh, heat up and vapor uh, components to this. I lost track of what I was just going to say. I'm getting old. I'm sorry. <laughs> the point .2 uh, coil in there which will have a nice flash point to vaporize and give an excellent, excellent flavor and consistency. That's what I meant to say. Uh, but, you know, mm. bleh. All right, let's go ahead and prime the wick, the coil. The reason we do that is simple. Right off the bat, we're going to try and avoid any dry hits that we have. Um, we're going to take a few suctions without firing on the fire button, but the idea here is to make sure that we get it all uh, juiced up because we really don't want that nasty uh, dry hit taste in our mouth that makes us clean everything out with a toothbrush and makes you feel all dirty inside like a bad little person just a bad little person yeah alright you can see where my mind's at today feeling kinda naughty just feeling kinda naughty my wife better watch out a little bit later on today that's all I'm saying nothing more alright let's load this up I think it's gonna woohoo alright now in addition to using the arctic tank and I will just say this now uh, it's it's probably my favorite in-house tank for all for all uh, units 100 watt and under. I have a lot of those. I have a few above those so I do have some tanks that are adequate for those uh, like my H Priv 220 watt and I've, so I've got a few of them but the Arctic tank can handle pretty much any 510 uh, and I do have a heat sink if I need a, a, an adjustment but it can handle anything 100 watt and under real well um, yeah especially with the point two coil and I'll be using my E-Leaf 100 watt uh, so we're going to go ahead and put it in there. By the way, this was an experiment here on the Arctic tank. If you look at it right above there, it, it's been converted into a uh, top fill by removing that rubber stopper. However, I found that over time it doesn't hold the seal as well, so I stopped using that and uh, I just now I just put the uh, juice in the normal way um, but nevertheless we're good so once again it is salted caramel malt number 24 in the beard lineup by Vape Co. it is a 70 30 VG to PG blend with 3 milligram nicotine by volume I'm gonna take a fuck a fun little few suctions I almost said something naughty woo Bad boy. Bad boy. Shh. 
The reason we do this is to make sure that we get the juice there through the uh, through the wicks on that coil so that it doesn't have a funky taste once we go to hit the fire button. I think we're good though. Wow! That's very pleasant. Yeah, I'm digging this. I really am. This is this is this is fantastic. So Okay, so I'm in my mid 40s and I remember way back when when they used to have those little stores in the mall where they made like the caramel popcorn and all that stuff. If if anybody out there remembers those uh, I'm talking way back when to the Orange Julius days, uh, OJ Julius. Um, this here, wow! I mean, it, this this is transforming me back into my my youth. And uh, those places are not around anymore. Uh, but this is just freaking awesome. Oh wow! So, it definitely is holding its flavor. I am uh, surprised at this one. I was a little worried about having the uh, salted malt together, only because typically it's a little bit more of a, a, a thickness, and sometimes that can cause uh, some buildup and resistance in your coils. This doesn't seem to have it. The other thing is I was worried about possibly when you apply some uh, heat to it so it vaporizes, I, I was thinking that maybe it would kind of get to that burnt smell again because of the salted and the malt part, uh, just knowing the chemistry of that. Uh, but they seem to have made a blend that is overcoming that. That might be why it's at the 70-30 uh, VG-PG blend. Um, once again, this is the Beard Lineup by Vapeco, uh, number 24, and uh, it is the Salted Caramel Malt. Um, we're using it on a E-Leaf 100 watt. I've got it set at 80 watts with an Arctic tank and a 0.2 uh, ohm coil in there. That's really, really pleasant. I mean, this is pretty close on. I, I will have to say, ladies and gentlemen, that for the most part, I've tried several. <laughs> I've tried several uh, of the beard lineup by Vapeco, Vapeco. Several of the flavors, and mm, I would say, except for maybe one that's an acquired taste, I am so pleased with this line of vape juice. I really am, you know, and I kind of shoot from the hip and from the heart, and I will definitely let people know, uh, I will definitely let people know my thoughts, pros and cons, uh, and I will have to say, I, I'm kind of shocked, this is really good, I mean really good. Straight up. Hey, everybody, you know what? Go out and get this. You're going to enjoy it, I promise you. Um, this one here is nostalgia for the people my age and up. And for the young ones, who doesn't like salted caramel malt? I mean, come on. It's straight up dessert. And I mean, for real, and the taste is there. Having said that, thanks for stopping by. Please leave your comments below like subscribe get people to come over and start watching this uh and and i'll list where you can get this from uh down below in the comment sections if you have any feedback please offer that too any suggestions or anything you'd like me to review hey once again thank you for coming to the juicy vapor channel i'm chef andy and later